hello students today's practical class you're going to uh, see the demonstration of the determination of planck's constant using photocell so let's see what are the components required and how to wire up and then how to take the observation from the observations how to calculate the planck's constant okay this is the photocell what you are seeing in this container and these are the filters which are used to you know uh, control the light different frequencies you can see how this photocell filter and the source is arranged and the other components required are uh, a micro ammeter you can see and uh, there is a voltmeter and this is how the photocell can be connected with the power supply and voltmeter and an micro ammeter uh, initially you can wire up the photocell with the micro ammeter and the voltmeter as you are seeing in this you know picture and now let's see how the photocell responds to the light and how to determine the stopping potential for different colored filters for the same source and uh, the distance between the photocell and the source you can see this is the source i can be you know maintained at a particular distance for example i am keeping as 7 cm to start the experiment we are going to place the one of the filter in this uh, in just front of the photocell and uh, the filter is exposed to through proper uh, light from the source you can see this is the light source and now uh, it is connected to uh, micro ammeter and voltmeter as you are seeing now uh, initially without applying any potential you can see the uh, voltage can be set in this you can read the voltage now it seems to be zero right but the micro ammeter reads so you will take this reading for this particular color right now you will increase the voltage yes by increasing the voltage you can uh, control the current flowing through the photocell and uh, so by increasing the voltage you can see here i'm just increasing the voltage but uh, the current gets reduced for example i am increasing further voltage but the current gets reduced and uh, if i further increase it goes towards zero and again i am keep on increasing now it is almost uh, zero right so this potential at which the photo current goes zero will be called stopping potential that you will make a note of you know the reading of this altimeter as stopping potential for this particular filter now we have placed the uh, green filter likewise you can uh, use different colored filters and you can find what is the stopping potential for each different filters and uh, the wavelength of each uh, color of you know the filter related light you can have the wavelengths and then you can use this for uh, drawing the graph between the current i and the voltage v now uh, the second part of this experiment it is after finding the stopping potential actually we can uh, study the relationship between v and i that is you know in detail we can record the readings for example once again i keep the voltage to zero and the maximum current is red now you slowly increase this uh, volt and then you read the current you record it so likewise increasing the potential and recording the current you can make another tabulation with the fine details of the voltage and the current so this can be recorded for all the colored filters and we will have the tabulation i'll show now so this is the detailed reading like same stopping potential and i is varied by varying the potential you can record the current for different color filters and using this you can go for a graph and you can see the graph now 
it is showing the relationship between i and v using the voltage readings and the wavelength values you can calculate the h that is the planck's constant by this formula the similar calculation is done for different colored filters for different uh, you know you can understand different colors of light and with the different wavelength when you could calculate what is the planck's constant you can arrive the uh, results